Hi everyone, this is Dumbass Live, and today I got a question and answer for you guys. How are you doing? Hope you guys are doing great, and uh, yeah, let's get this started. Up. Now the first question is from a subscriber of mine, it goes by the name of Jack, and he says here, what is your hope for the future on GTA Online? Now, I hope Casino's gonna come. I want some Casino DLC. I think that will definitely spice things up in GTA. Like, imagine if we were able to go inside of the casino, you know, and with our friends, and we're able to bet money and stuff. I think that would be sick, and I think my dream DLC will definitely be Lottery. Lottery and Casino, give us all of that as a whole. That would probably be the best DLC ever. What is your favorite weapon in Black Ops 3? Now, pretty interesting here. We got a Black Ops 3 comment. Um, guys, let me know in the comment section. Should I start live streaming Black Ops? Let me know. I think my favorite weapon right now will be the KN. Before the KN, my favorite weapon was the Man of War. Now, I love that gun in the beta. It would just rip through people, but they nerfed it. I mean, you guys know how that goes, right? The next question is from Jose, and he goes, on a scale though, one out of 10, how bad did Drake end Meek's career? Now you guys should go check out these videos I got on Dominus Live News. I got a funny video that I did today. I was like watching the Meek Mill memes and all that kind of stuff. I did a cool compilation. Uh, the video for that is gonna be in the description and in the comment section, go check that out. But uh, it's hard for me to say that he ended his career. I will say this, I say that he changed the total public perception of him and that's bad because like people out there who used to listen to meek mill and drake some of them now only listen to drake you know for me for a certain period i you know i was listening to meek mill then all of a sudden i saw meek mill like spaz out on twitter like a little baby it kind of changed my perception of him and i kind of backed away from his music but i think right now people have backed away from his music but if he keeps putting out good music, eventually people will come back. I don't know if you guys like checked out his latest mixtape, but it was actually pretty good. Four out of four, pretty good. But on a scale of one out of 10, if you're talking about the highest, I would say pretty much a eight, man. He, he wrecked it. The next question is from Flaming Kings and he goes, hi Dom, what advice can you give to people who just started YouTube or is nervous? That's a good question. I will say this, man. My first ever video, I made my first few videos, I was extremely nervous. Now, I stopped being nervous once people started to view my videos and people were saying, yo, you're good, you're this, you're that. And I got that confidence. So, you know, get out there, upload your content. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it but try to listen to the positive people, you know? Like me personally, I got a bunch of positive at the beginning, you know? I didn't really have people hating on me. You know, that's what changes people. Because if you're getting a bunch of people that hate on you out there, it make you not want to do this. But, you know, try to keep things positive. Don't worry about the haters. Just focus on becoming great. That's all you gotta do. And eventually, you become what I become. And that's just someone who's able to talk into the microphone and not care so much what people have to say. Of course, I'm still human. You know, bullets still hurt me. Words still hurt, but you gotta block those people out. Why did you start uploading videos on YouTube and what channel did you subscribe when you created your first YouTube account? Well, if you're talking about gaming, the first thing I ever did on YouTube was watch people who created NBA 2K content. So I watched people like Shakedown 2012, also watch iPod King Cotter, you know, shout out to those guys. But me personally, what I watch on YouTube now is nothing but hip hop. I watch DJ Academics, I watch Charlemagne the God, I watch Ebro, I watch all those guys. So shout out to all of them and me watching hip hop news and me seeing what's going on in the world today made me want to start a news channel, if you guys get what I'm saying here. And the last question is from Rahim and he says here, do you think that Ojin will get Osta from Valentine's DLC if it saves in the files? Just like what Rockstar did with the Festive DLC 2015. That's a good question. I think that last gen is definitely going to get DLC, whether it's old DLC or new. It's probably not going to be new DLC, though. So I can see Rockstar giving people what they already got a few years ago when we got the Valentine's uh, Day Massacre. So most likely it's going to be that. I just don't see anything new. I don't know. Rockstar hasn't done it, you know? So anyway, this is Dumbass Live. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to go check out Dumbass Live News. I did a funny video today. I reacted to some Meek Mill memes. Very funny memes. 
and I'm out of here, guys. You have a great day. Oh, yeah, for the people who sent me questions and I wasn't able to answer your question, maybe I'll be able to answer next time.